Welcome back to another ASH design tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through using our brand new timeline cover templates for Facebook. I currently have open the pen Facebook cover purchased from ASH design and then downloaded and I've already added the images to this template and if you need information about using the clipping masks or adding images there's a tutorial based on clipping masks that will help you with that. I've already added these images and now I want to use this space up here to add my logo. There's another tutorial that talks about making your logo into a brush, which I've already done. So I'm just going to use a brush to put my logo right in here. We're going to save the file and then we're going to upload it to Facebook. The first thing I'm going to do is just add a new layer. And I'm going to name this layer Watermark. And because I've already created the brush, as soon as I grab my brush there, it's going to pull up my logo in brush form. And then I'm just going to paint in my logo right where I want it, and I want it right in this space right here. I've got a white brush, so when I click right here, it's going to paint that white. And then I like to brighten it up just a little bit. So I'm going to go to Filter, Sharpen, Sharpen More, and that just makes that a little more crisp right there. And from right there, I've added my images, I've added my logo, and I've got this beautiful timeline cover for Facebook that I can give to a customer now, and they can show their beautiful images on their Facebook page, and people will also see that those images came from artistic images by Elizabeth and she'll get additional business based on that. You're also going to notice down here it says leave this layer on Facebook profile image will be placed here so I'll show you how that works in just a minute when we save it and go on over to Facebook um, but you don't need to worry about that at all it'll be totally covered up um, so we're going to leave it just like this you can save a PSD file if you'd like so that you can come back and make changes, but what we're going to need is a JPEG. So I'm just going to file, save as, call this one Christina's cover, save. I had one there, so I'm just going to replace that. And then from there, we're just going to hop over to a Facebook page. This would be my personal Facebook page. If you just hover over this timeline cover image, it says change cover. Click on that. It's going to open up a little dialog box right here. And underneath that dialog box, I'm going to choose Upload Photo, and it's going to let me just browse on my hard drive. I'm going to pick Christina Cover, Open, and it's going to pull that image that we just worked on right into my Facebook page. And as you can see, here's my little box where that was. And so right here, and I've got my image and everything. From here, I just click Save Changes and it's going to implement that right there and you'll see how my profile picture comes in and all of these are here and you can send these covers to all of your customers they can upload them uh, add them to their Facebook page and it's a great viral marketing tool to get your logo and your information out there and the beautiful images that you've taken and at the same time your customers get a great cover for their timeline and get to show their brand new pictures 